tell us ali yangu ni i remember when we were coming through that event uliniambia I told you um ako aka with the spoken word and you told me he better not disappoint so my question is did he no no he did not he did it very perfectly the fact that he, it was flowing from him i was so excited and was all room yeah mesmerized yeah that he, he had mastered all that and it is good yes that i had not had it before. you see i told you i emptied it and i would have the way it came it was so fresh for me like it was for everyone oh really yeah so i uh, i you, you run a school uh, in co- in in cooperation with your i must say you look alike you're like sisters you're like twins and all but we are yeah, all that you have said really mm-hmm. oh that's amazing so what pushed you to to go to an extent of creating a school because for me me they would just go to and stop of making it aware and that's the end of it so what pushed you to the extent of creating a school the question everybody asked was do you know a school where we could refer our son my mm-hmm. daughter to mm-hmm. um once they learned that their children had dyslexia oh, yeah. we did not know a school mm-hmm. nancy is a teacher a special ed teacher in this why not start one yeah and there it was <laughs> that's how we started so i must say to all my viewers you really are you are really doing a commendable job i personally i knew about dyslexia i must say 2020 but for many they didn't know and i must even for the spoken word that is didn't know about it Imagine. even in kenya most people don't know about it i remember when he told us about this event mm-hmm. most people were like what is this less yeah what is and i had to explain to them like people who do know who was in yeah the although i also must say i don't know a lot about it but at least they know how to do it such so for those who are at home and parents is there a way you can tell them how to know if are there like symptoms or a way to if know you suspect the first first the first first part is you are your child is very normal intellectually and everything mm-hmm. but they are not catching up in education like you would expect mm-hmm. they are lagging behind in terms of learning to read mm-hmm. especially reading mm-hmm. that should be a trigger oh. and that's question you ask what is wrong with my child yeah. you know is like na what bona na kwa mwisho mwisho evil Na, that na, is na, that na. is when you go for assessment oh, and in kenya there are hospitals or centers that really fast, care for fast, such fast, people fast 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 mm-hmm. dyslexia cannot be identified in hospital it is an education problem is easily identified by teachers or oh, not doctors or specialized people who know about this thing uh first parent will suspect teacher will suspect will start why what is the problem with this child and that's when you ask you go for assessment oh yes oh, and, and you offer assessment in your school yes we do offer assessment okay thank thank you so much thank you all right thank that you was so my time yeah 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 sure um, being stolen right. by everyone <laughs> it's all right <laughs> <laughs>